worst nightmare. You know, you finally buy your home and um, the security of it is, is massively undermined and you don't know how badly it's undermined or, or how much at risk uh, your home actually is. So I'm a former city councillor myself um, and, uh, and, and I'm also from the city. So I, I really think it's enormously important, not just for the individual homeowners, that this issue is addressed and addressed in an urgent manner by this government. But um, just also for the city's development and for urban development generally, we have to take real decisive action to re-establish some level of confidence in um, apartment living, in, in dense residential high-rise living in the city, um, and, uh, and offer some security uh, to, to both the homeowners, but also, I, I guess, to society at large. Um, the government has committed a, a, a quite a tight time scale, actually. It's um, by July of next year to have the working group both established and report so that uh, ideally the work can then feed into the budget of the following year. Uh, I'm presuming your groups are ready to, to engage with that. And I think you mentioned you've already had discussions with the minister. Um, so I'd be interested just to know what the what feedback the Minister has given you in terms of the timelines and Chair I suppose I would be suggesting that this committee will write to the Minister um, after this meeting and advising him that we have met and uh, looking for um, a, an urgent establishment of the working committee um, so that the timelines that are in the programme for government uh, can be met. I, I'm interested uh, to know if in participating in the working group um, you, Kath, mentioned specifically, and I can really understand it, why homeowners don't want to self-identify, let's say, their property as being uh, at risk of either fire safety or, or other forms of safety. But really it is going to be critical, I think, to dealing with this issue, establishing some form of a, a register of affected property so that there is transparency. And I suppose homeowners will only be willing to do that when they know there's going to be support for them then in responding to the issues identified. But when, when you're replying, maybe you could talk to how ready you think the, the homeowners are um, to, to participate in, in that and, and what the likelihood would be of um, being able to establish some sort of a, a register um, of affected properties. Uh, because I think until we can quantify the, the legacy issues, um, we, we can't deal with them. And then I think the focus in dealing with them and the redress, and I absolutely accept the point that you're making uh, and that your members are making about uh, the redress having to remove the burden, not further burden the homeowners. Um, then the, the focus of the work of the working group, I would suggest, needs to be on ensuring that all future construction um, works avoid these mistakes of the past, that the controls are put in place, that the certification and the regulations are actually robust and, uh, and enforced. So, uh, Gurra